गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मितिल शाह एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज एंडोकॉन्ड्रियल लॉसिफिकेशन मेनी ऑफ अस ड्यूरिंग आर फाइनल ईयर्स वी आर वेरी कन्फ्यूज इन दिस टॉपिक कॉल्ड एज एंडोकॉन्ड्रियल लॉसिफिकेशन इंट्रा मेम्ब्रेनस लॉसिफिकेशन वॉट इज अपोजिशनल ग्रोथ वॉट इज इंटस्टिशियल ग्रोथ वॉट इज ऑस्टियोजेनेसिस सो बेसिकली लेट मी टेल यू विद द फर्स्ट बेसिक पार्ट दैट देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज ऑस्टियोजेनेसिस now what is this osteogenesis osteogenesis is nothing but it is the production of osteoblast now this osteoblast leads to formation of an bone we know that the osteoblast is an bone forming cell now this bone forming cells form bones in two ways and that is intramembranous ossification and endochondrial ossification today we are going to talk about something called as endochondrial ossification now what actually happens in this or endochondrial ossification has the name suggest everything is in the name see there is a clue chondro endochondro chondro is nothing but chondroblast chondroblast are nothing but cartilage forming cells this cartilage forming cells leads to the formation of an hyaline cartilage and this hyaline cartilage finally forms the bone and this is nothing but endochondrial ossification so what did i say this chondroblast leads to formation of something called as hyaline cartilage this hyaline cartilage forms the bone so first there is an formation of cartilage then there is an formation of bone this leads to the formation of endochondrial ossification very simple very simple now going to the basics and talking about the simple basic part uh, this endochondrial ossification hota kidhar hai body this endochondrial ossification happens in mostly the long bones the long bones we talk about in a body the femur the tibia the radius the ulna so this uh, long bones are responsible and by the formation of the bone is responsible by endochondrial ossification one of the exception is the mandibular condyle now mandible is formed by both endo chondral and intramembranous ossification but the mandibular condyle only the mandibular condyle is formed by endochondral ossification now talking further suppose this is a four picture of a long bone hmm in in when you are in when you were a baby when you were inside your mother's womb actually the bones were not formed they were for in the form of an hyaline cartilage okay so this hyaline cartilage how is it formed so it is basically formed by a group of cells this cells are called as mesenchymal cells now this mesenchymal cells leads to the formation of prechondroblast it leads to the formation of prechondroblast this prechondroblast leads to the formation of chondroblast this chondroblast leads to the formation of an cartilage there is an covering of this cartilage which is called as perichondrium okay so there is an covering let me make an covering for you guys so you will understand better so this much is done now the cells which are there and which are present uh, this about chondroblast okay this about chondroblast okay now let me zoom this part for you and show it to you how actually it looks so suppose this is an section of an bone which i have took and this is an outermost covering okay so there are these cells inside which are called as what are the cells called as chondroblast okay so what happens in this chondroblast is uh, there are these spaces in these spaces there are this chondroblast these spaces are called as lacunae okay this chondroblast uh, derives its nutrition from the perichondrium it does not have an any vascular supply during its embryonic stage but what happens is has there is formation of bone going on further this 
there is something called as alkaline phosphatase we have heard about it this is an enzyme which has a lot of osteogenic potential and it leads to the formation of an osteoid matrix or formation of bone so inside this endochondral matlab kya cartilage ke andar bone form hona abhi cartilage ke cells kaun se hai this is the chondroblast तो बोन फॉर्मेशन किधर होगा इधर होगा सो देर इज एन एल्कलाइन फॉस्फेटेज एक्टिविटी गोइंग ऑन विच लीड्स टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एन ऑस्टियोड मैट्रिक्स इनसाइड ओके सो सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज सम ऑफ द सेल्स देर इज एन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एन ऑस्टियोड मैट्रिक्स now this is something this is called as primary areole okay now what happens is as i told there was no blood supply so there is an invasion of blood supply which occurs or there is an invasion of blood vessels which take place there is also some resorption taking place now what happens during this step na there is an formation of bone which is called as woven bone now we all know that woven bone is an immature bone is an immature bone so uh, to convert this immature bone into a mature bone there is something called as resorption or reversal which occurs and this reversal and resorption leads to the formation of like this and secondary areoles okay because of the resorption taking place please don't go on my diagrams just try to understand what i'm trying to say so this are called as secondary areoles okay now let me zoom this part for you this areole which is formed now aju baju there are cells this mesenchymal cells or this chondroblast or this cartilaginous cells leads to formation of osteoblast and what is the function of osteoblast what is the function of this osteoblast the function of this osteoblast is to lay down an osteoid matrix once the osteoid matrix is formed again a layer of osteogenic cells or osteoblast is formed and so the growth and the development of the bone goes on and during this part there is an formation of an lamellar bone also called as an mature bone and this is how there is an formation of endochondral ossification now there are different parts uh, there are some controlling factors which are called as igf tgf fgf fibroblast growth deriving factors there are some controlling factors like tumor necrosing factor then there are some hormonal factors like parathyroid hormones and uh, vitamin d3 which plays an important role in formation of bone so there are this controlling you also need to know and you also need to write this answers in your exam and also you can show and three division of this bone epiphysis metaphysis diaphysis or epiphysis meta epiphyseal plate and metaphysis now uh, to tell you more there is something called as oppositional growth and there is something called as interstitial growth just know that oppositional growth means increase in length and this means increase in width this means matlab interstitial uh, growth is increase in the width of the bone and uh, oppositional growth is increase in the length of the bone so epiphyseal plate is cartilaginous so what does happens there is an different layers of cells now this chondroblast pre chondroblast to chondroblast form hone ke liye na ek char layer i'll go a bit in detail uh, there are four types of cells uh, resting phase there is one resting phase where cells are doing nothing this is called as resting phase then there is something called as proliferating stage there are n number of cells which are proliferating okay this is called as proliferating phase you can get this diagrams in your book also shridhar prem kumar william prophet balaji gurkrit singh all these are the books you can refer if you are not able to understand my diagram okay and there is in for then there is hypertrophy of these cells the cells which have proliferative there is hyper so there is this zone is called as hypertrophic zone and there is an calcification zone then there is an calcification of this bow uh, cells which have occur 
so it will lead to calcification so this are the different step which occurs from p chondroblast chondroblast to the formation of an bone so these are the different stages which you can see under the microscope you can add this in your answer this will give a good impact you can also add the controlling factors and the uh, other factors this can be asked as an mcq also uh, in your exam so you need to take care about it and you definitely you uh, go through this lecture and you also read the textbook because it is very important if you have any doubts you can comment in the comment section be it any topic i'll make it simple for you and if you have any doubts still you want to contact me you can contact me on instagram facebook and email id is given in the uh, comment in the description box hope you guys have liked this video do share subscribe with all your friends and help them also see helping others will not uh, make you small okay so do share this video uh, if you like this video and uh, give it a thumbs up okay uh, dr mithil shah signing off happy to help thank you